Hello, Lunar Child, and welcome back from the weekend. Well, partly sunny today for the Cancers and rather pensive. The Moon, which is your tuning planet and the focusing planet of emotions on Earth, is now in Virgo. It's been there actually for the last couple of days. And what that does is put your emotions into the speculative. This is the area of consciousness we use for our intellect and communications. It's also the area that you're probably weakest at right now. So this was a weekend of processing your feelings, maybe trying to get things off your chest, maybe trying to make or have important phone calls with some certain people or important conversations with people. And today, emotionally, you're still kind of lingering in that space. But that does end tomorrow, so hang in there if it's been tough. Now, if you were watching, last Friday, it was a huge day, a stellium, a solar eclipse, basically in opposition with Neptune on the other end. Major investment for cancers, and the investment is you raising soul capital. Soul capital starts with self-esteem and moves into your ability to make money and draw in money. It's your productivity. It's how magical you can be when making things out of nothing. And it's also your value system. This is a natural spectrum of Taurus. And the universe is telling all cancers right now to run, not walk, toward your new self-esteem. This week, the sun in Chapter 2 of Leo is really about starting to take some actual steps towards making more money, feeling better about yourself. And yes, this is the week you should definitely ask your boss for a raise, especially if they're a Scorpio. They're ready to take some power too. Now let's talk a little bit about Saturn real quick. Saturn in the next seven to eight days is going to ask Cancers to kind of step away from an old thinking pattern. Now it depends on how you are as a Cancer and how you operate, but many Cancers allow their mind to kind of ruin things for them. They take their emotions, they throw it into their mind, and then it just gets lost forever. Stirs and it triggers emotion, and the emotion triggers more thought, and the more thought triggers the emotion, and you get caught in this kind of conundrum, if you will, intellectually, and it takes away some of your power and certainly your control over life. So in the next eight days, Saturn is calling to all Cancers to make a decision about how they're going to think, about thinking differently, about thinking nice to yourself, and about changing your dialogue, internal and external, to support this new soul capital. All right, Cancer, that's all I have to start off the week. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So God and